So, um, again, I will speak about the XPath modules I'm intending to develop and promote. And this year I will dive into a file transfer client module, which, was, it, which has, has more than three years. And um, it has an implementation for exist. It was heavily tested by, um, at least by Nick Sincaglia, with very big files and in um, a very hard environment. I don't know about other testers. And um, it's um, is intending to work with um, FTP, SFTP, FF, FTPS, and uh, WebDAV and some other uh, protocols, but now it's only working with uh, FTP and SFTP protocols. It has some uh, some functions for uh, for a connection, for generating a connection, it generating a handler to the connection. It lists the resources on a certain directory on the remote server. Use, uh, it's uh, storing resources, retrieving, and is getting the resource metadata for now, the implementation, and is disconnecting also. For uh, these resources, um, so for connection, we just need uh, the um, remote uh, host URI, which is including the protocol and um, the credentials for connection, or if it is uh, <coughs> SFTP, it's including the um, the key, the key, the private key. With the handler, we can list the resources in this format here as a resource list, and. Uh, and the data about an, um, a resource on the remote server is uh, name, type, directory file, or link, when it was last modified, size, human readable size, the owner, the user, the um, owner group, permissions, if it's a link, where to link. And uh, f it's storing the resources a resource of, uh, of, choice, of choice. It needs the connection handle, the, the path for the remote resources, and the resource content contents. And it's also retrieving. And it's, it needs the connection handle and then the, and the path. And it's getting the resource metadata, as I said. And it disconnects based on the connection handle. As I said, this is um, it was um, heavily tested, and it's available in Exist Public Repo. So there are some uh, tests. There are about uh, 16 tests, for instance, for creating a directory with um, SFTP. It's storing, it's, if it's um, for creating a directory, you just need to, to use store resource and the path. And if the path is ending with a uh, slash, it will uh, consider it as a directory. And if it's not, if it's not existing, it will create it. We can also list resources, as I said, here. And it's getting the resources and the list. And it's, there are some other tests. Uh, because the time is longer, as you said, I can speak also of another module.
-hmm. I think last year I spoke um, very s briefly about this module. Now it, it is grown up. And um, it's about a uh, user agent module. It's about um, HTML templating for the content. HTML templating done in eSquery. So we have, uh, I'm going straight to templates. We have uh, functions for creating a template, which attaches the template directly when the document is loaded. For attaching a template um, on uh, based on an event, detaching a template, for instance, when an event occurs, and hiding and get template in order to to be processed and displayed again in case is uh, is needed. This uh, these are the templates. Uh, there is an, um, another section for actions, actions, actions to be done um, in um, based on uh, when an event occurs. There is a section for mutation observers, which is um, connecting uh, some observers to um, mutation events, which is a DOM for part, which is a part of DOM for uh, standard. And um, this will mean, um, uh, for now, there is an implementation for Oxygen, which is re replacing the, maybe some of you know, the quite difficult um, framework making with, with this query. And um, my intention is that in the future to have it um, in, uh, in JavaScript to be used in, in browser also. There are some scenarios of, of usage, creating events, creating a dialogue template, a dialogue to be displayed when a user click a button, for instance, and some other. So, questions? So, Module, how did you implement the uh, web not yet, not yet, but it's not yet implemented. But I want to make a, a mechanism to um, to use e uh, to easy uh, implement some other proto protocols because we have a library, Java library, which for this. Yeah. yeah. So, but it's not grabbing easy uh, the protocols. Yeah, so I, I want to, to make it like that, to easier use them. Yeah, you, you're asking because you, you made a, the web dev server yeah, exactly. for exist. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. To some for things. yeah, we should, yeah, because uh, it should be um, uh, more easy. Now, I, I try to, to make the best of all the libraries and to have a mechanism to, um, to pick up the, the needed the protocol. But I saw there is a library which has a very nice um, mechanism for getting the, the libraries for protocols, and I want to use that. And maybe this will help. I mean, just throw the library and you will have the protocol, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Any more questions? Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome.